what about the crisis in the Nigerian Football Federation? Because we can't allow you go without passing a comment or two on, on that. Uh, are you happy? Um, and do you think that the present um, resolution of this crisis with Chris Giwa vacating office, Musa Amadou returning to office, do you think this is the end of the problem that has plagued the NFF and now we can begin to move forward? I, I, hope, I hope it's the end, but I don't think it's the end. I think um, there is more to come. But I'm just happy that at least we have been able to agree on one thing, which is to avoid a FIFA ban. And that has been my position from the start. In fact, so you will, you will confirm that initially I didn't contribute to the debate on this particular issue because I was quite upset. And I was just looking for everybody to sort, to sort themselves out, and I was ready to follow the hard mass standing. But then when we were going to put the whole country at risk, our football at risk of a FIFA ban, that was when I was forced to really comment. But now that I want to think the FIFA ban is behind us, I don't really mind if they resume the fight. Honestly speaking, I don't really mind. Provided they don't get us the FIFA ban. Let them fight it as one and for all. You remember, Tony, when you tweeted that uh, the Giwa group, they were planning to approach cash, you know, for, to, to intervene. I said, interesting. Interesting. It will be an interesting development. Let's talk it out once and for all. This FIFA intervention, government intervention, and this and all of that. Let's talk it out once and for all. I will be glad if the, the, the Giwa team goes all the way to, to, to cash, so that cash can sort it out. Provided, as I said, Nigeria is allowed to continue playing. It should be our choice. If we, if we want to play or we don't want to play, we shouldn't allow FIFA to ban us. If we, to, if we don't want to participate in a competition, we can pull out, okay? But we shouldn't put ourselves in a position where FIFA will ban us, and then we ask for so long that we have to come back and uh, obey their instruction before we allow that thing. So, um, as I said, fact, peace is good, but I don't want the peace of the graveyard. If the was group going all the way to CAC will give us a final resolution, so that in four years' time, we don't find ourselves in this position again, let them go all the way to CAC. And then, by the time CAC resolves it, then we will have, uh, we will have a, a better platform to deal with the issues next time we have elections like this. Well, thank you so much, uh, Mumini Alao, for speaking to us on uh, Sports Tonight. We've been speaking to Mumini Alao. He's not just uh, a football commentator. He's also the managing director of Nigeria's largest sports daily publication, uh, Complete Sports. And uh, we're happy to have his contribution uh, to us on Sports Tonight this Monday. Well, gentlemen, I think Mumini has um, uh, uh, said it all. Mm -hmm. um, we'll, we'll look in, in, into the NFF crisis later on uh, in details. We'll, we'll look at what is happening, uh, how did we escape... Uh, how did we beat the deadline? Let me say beat the deadline, not escape. How did we beat FIFA's deadline? We will look at all of that and try to be as objective as we can uh, on the show tonight. We will also look at the issue of uh, the, the Giwa group going to CAS, as many has said. Um, what can they get from CAS and all of that? We will look at all of that in details uh, as we go along on sports tonight. But we'll, we'll make a quick change now. Uh, Tony will, will leave us and uh, Toby Adepoju will be coming in uh, on uh, sports tonight. During the break, Arsenal fans, watch out. There's something for you on Sports Tonight. And then there's a beautiful report as well um, that uh, the NDDC, that's the Niger Delta Development uh, Commission, Commission uh, are putting together a grassroots football tournament. Uh, they hope it will uncover uh, talents that will go on to represent Nigeria uh, at international level. We'll take that report and then we'll come back. There's plenty more for you on Sports Tonight. Stay with us. is the official unveiling of the trophy and logo and the group draws for the maiden edition of the President Goodluck Jonathan Obia Inter-Community Unity Football Competition, GEJ Cup 2014. So the competition is part of the George Turner Foundation's efforts to engage youths in productive ventures. I am particularly delighted that even at short notice, you have fine time out of your very busy schedule to honor our call. Along with officials of the NDDC and the Bielsa State Government, the event attracted other dignitaries, including legendary superstars Kanu Mwankwa and Samson Siasia, who promised to bring football scouts to expose players to the international scene. The winners of this tournament, the trophy and logo, along with group draws for the competing teams drawn from all the communities in Ogbia local government area of Bielsa State, 
were unveiled by the Deputy Governor's representative. So on behalf of His Excellency, Rea Andrea Bolivula Jona, retired Altair, Deputy Governor of the States, and on the left, and on the papillo and the back, we hereby unveil this room. All 32 participating teams were given jerseys and other kits free of charge, and considering the magnitude of support the tournament is receiving, it may just turn out to be another important source of discovering new soccer talent for the country. All right, that's it. Uh, the Grassroot Tournament put together by the NDDC, we hope it achieves the purpose for which it has been uh, set up. Well, we've made a change. Uh, Toby Adipo has joined us on sports tonight. Uh, Toby, good to have you on, on sports tonight uh, this, this Monday. Yeah, good evening. Mm. Good to be here. Yeah. L let, me, let me just read a few comments on Twitter before we quickly go on to the next part of the show. Um, Uzo Uriel um, says, uh, Sheikh's Mashaba, referring to Tunde, can say whatever he likes, but be rest assured we will beat South Africa on Wednesday. So confident. O o is that a problem? Is, is that part of our problem that we assume we've won games before they are played. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You, know, you, you need to earn uh, your victory. Mm. You, you don't win on the pages of newspapers or you know, fans coming to the stadium and thinking that uh, it's going to be a stroll in the park. The players need to come to the party like uh, Mumuni Alao said. You need to play very well, up your game, and uh, the, the coach needs to co come up with uh, a winning formula. So if these things are not put into perspective, then there's no way you can expect to win. You know, on, on Saturday, we didn't deserve to win. Mm. In fact, the 3-2, like um, Tune said, it was, it was kind of flattering the result of the game. On the because balance of play, they, they, they totally against against us. us. Yeah, they because us. only when Emenika and Nosai Gebo came in, now we had, that we had the urgency. You know, but throughout the game, we were defending. So you don't expect victory on the platter of gold. You need to mm. work for it. Mm. Mm. Somebody is asking us, that's Henry Nwanyahu uh, at uh, Man and Rio, um, is asking, is it true the report going around that uh, Ike Uche no. and uh, uh, Kalu Uche have been called up by Kosi Nikeshi? No, I, 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 I doubt, no, they, yeah, they, they, I doubt they, it because they, we have a 23-man list yes. called up. Yes, they, and, yeah, what, in fact, they, they have been, been, been dropped mm. uh, and 22 made it to South mm. Africa. Even mm. Uche Wafa is in South Africa. So. Mm. Mm. Because there are reports that Uche Wafa was dropped. Yep. Obiazo couldn't make it yep. because so visa, visa, visa problem. You remember, so. it was a late replacement for Vicente uh, for Vicente Yama. So he couldn't make it. They couldn't get his South African visa. And the time between the game between Congo and South Africa is so short that you can't probably get visas in, in two days or... A day. That's why uh, David um, Obiozo of, of, of Academy was dropped. Not that Keshi lost hope or lost confidence in them and called up. I don't think that report is true. No, it's really. not true. It's not I'm, true. I'm not sure it's true. It's Maybe true. it's not official. It's Maybe not. I should say not official. No, no, no. Yeah, it's it's not not they, they, they have said. They have said. Yeah, they, they have said. 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 All right, there's a lot of good. So that report is, is uh, not exactly uh, the true situation. All right, gentlemen, let's um, quickly take a look at some other issues on sports tonight. Toby, let's look at the issue of uh, uh, NFF and the crisis currently engulfing uh, the leadership of the Nigerian Football Federation. We are happy that we've been able to beat the deadline set by FIFA for us to comply uh, with their directives on the, uh, the giwa led um, faction. Uh, and let's just read for you what we have put on screen very quickly. Um, Nigeria, NFF, uh, beating FIFA de 